Hi, welcome to my channel. And those of you that have subscribed already, even if it's just one, I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna do something different today. A Celtic cross with the runes. I feel compelled to see the ancestral vibes that we will channel together. And if necessary, we'll back it up with a Moonology Oracle card because we are coming into that full moon zone in a, just a couple of days where the moon will be in the sign of Aquarius, giving me the freedom to do a Celtic cross with the runes, something I haven't done on the channel before. So I will timestamp all of this so you can effectively navigate the video. I imagine that it'll take some time to go through a Celtic cross in an ancestral language. So stick with me, here we go. All right, I'm really excited to do this ancestral rune reading with you. I'm not sure where it's gonna go, but let's see. So first, what we have, our situation, the first two together represent kind of the situation and challenge. So we're gonna start with the rune of daytime, the power of beginning and endings. It represents change, the half moon, and it says it's time for changes, but to focus on the positive, meditation is helpful during this time of transformation. And I'm only giggling because I have lit my meditation candle today. I just got that for my birthday and it worked. So beginnings and endings, let's meditate as we transform. And along with that comes the rune of cattle, the power of wealth, prosperity. This is a tower rune. It represents tower and tarot. So it is shaking things up for that new beginning. And it's time to share what you have says the ancestral language. Be careful of holding on to possessions too tightly. So what I am intuitively gonna tell you as you transform and change, obviously there's things you're gonna have to let go of. Mentally, physically, possessions, whatever it is, as you have to let go of the weight as you move forward, just have to. So that is amazing how those two go together. I hope you see it. Beginning, endings, meditation, transformation. So what's right above you is the rune of the chariot. In astrology, this represents Sagittarius or temperance. And it's time for a journey, either physical or spiritual. Maybe both. Now that we can travel a little, but certainly as we come into this full moon energy and you're transforming, you're going to dive into that spiritual being that you are. And this is asking you to do that. Be careful of getting stuck in one place. Change directions. Be willing to pivot. Be willing to pivot. Just below you is the rune of the whole horse, the letter E actually. And this also represents the journey, either traveling or within. So both above you and below you 
is this trip, but also your internal journey, this transformation that you're going through. And what you need to remember when you see this is think about trust in relationships and within yourself. Oh, this is so amazing. So what's just behind you is the rune of the yew tree, the power of immortality. This represents protection, enlightenment, and change. So much here about changing, pivoting, digging deep, and, and transforming. This represents the death card in Tarot. Honestly, that's another transformation. Remember to let go of what you cannot hold on to. This also represents Scorpio, I think. It's more like this, but anyway. It's a time to accept the end of something, beginnings and endings, okay? Look to magical enlightenment for protection and a new path. What's right ahead of you? The power of communication. The rune of the breath of God. It's message, vision, wisdom, truth, stability, and guidance. It represents mercury in astrology, which is all about communication. In Tarot, it's the ma magician. You know, the magician is really the first card in the journey of Tarot. And it also speaks to the vision, the wisdom, and the truth, the guidance that you need. Either you find it in yourself or you seek advice from someone trusted. Do not make rash decisions at this time. Definitely want you to seek knowledge within yourself or from someone else. So in the position of what is your strength, your attitude right now, we have the rune of hail, which represents hardships, trials, disruptions, challenges, but also completion. In Tarot, this is the fool, which is just the very beginning of the Tarot journey, just before the magician. So you have these two in combination, helping you, um, survive the power of destruction and realize new life after the water has seeped into the earth. This card refers to nine days. So if that means anything to you, there's a, a reflection of numbers in that card and in your attitude. Nine being one of progress and work and motivation effects on others, the power of the soul's journey. This is still reflecting you, I think, and the journey that you're taking within. In Tarot, this represents the chariot, water, as well as the moon. So you understand that this is representing renewal, dreams, mysteries, energy, and imagination, and it speaks to a time that's for creative artistic work, psychic abilities, and even dream work. Use the moon's power in ritual work. This is very important for the next few days. As I mentioned, we have the full moon coming in Aquarius, which will happen again in August. There are a lot of interesting lunar cycles happening right now. Um, I'll speak more to that and write about it in my blog, which I often link in the descriptions. Fundamentally, besides being the soul's journey, which we have talked a lot about today, um, it represents the soul's journey across water to reach 
the wisdom that you're looking for. All right, this moving into hopes and fears, the rune of the sun, power of light, happiness, successful, all is well. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> it represents passion, health, success, positivity, joy. In astrology and tarot, it represents the sun. Kind of holding it wrong, but you guys will get the point. And it says, it's time to be happy and lighthearted. Be careful of overconfidence, but enjoy the success and the good fortune that you feel is coming. It's what you're manifesting. Oh, love it. And I love how these are speaking together. This is terrific. So now, finally, the outcome is wisdom. Divine spiritual wisdom. In Torah, this represents the world. Um, in the ancestral language, it does speak to mysteries and secrets. So I want you to stick to what you know to be true. Definitely use your intuition. Stick to what you know is true. Focus on your inner being and be very in tune to revelations that may come forward. Take fate into your own hands and stir up something wonderful. Thank you guys for sharing this energy with me. This is an amazing message about beginnings. No, let's put it this way. Endings, sitting still, meditating, digging deep, transforming into what you really want. This is not where you're going to see it first. You're going to believe it first. Believe it to see it. It's been a theme all of July. There is a blog I wrote about that. Please dig deep, pray, meditate, make the changes you need to, and know that success is coming. All right. With that in mind, I would like to pull a Moonology card. These are by Yasmin Boland. And see what our light team can conclude this beautiful message for us. Okay, we're going to shuffle. Whoa, we got two already. Time to take, take time to breathe out. Disseminating moon. Take time to breathe out. You know what that means? Meditate. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. We just had that. Isn't that interesting? So beginnings and endings. Endings and beginnings. Let's put it that way. Okay, light team. One more. One more. For our daily energy exchange today. Wow, I got three more. Well, all right. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Oh, God, this is beautiful. The energy is gaining momentum. The waxing moon. We could go into a lot of details about this, but just flow with it. Look how these are speaking to you. Your hard work is paying off. Okay, a few more things I want to share with you. Take time to breathe out. To attune to this card, you need to understand that where you are is okay. You need to say, I am where I am and it's okay. And you are going to know where you stand very soon if you do not understand the situation. It is coming. And it's time for you to share your wisdom and experience with someone else. So little endings and beginnings 
and giving and taking there. Next, the light team gave us the full moon in Cancer. I do believe we had the chariot speak to us through ancestral runes. This says it's time to move towards what you want, but you may have to go sideways like a crab. Um, some of that secret and mystery we talked about that you're going to pay attention to um, may make you move this way as you go forward. No worry about that. This card also speaks to it's a time to meditate, to not be clingy and not to sulk. And as a Cancerian, to spend time with your family. All of that is good to get in tune to your inner being as we discuss through all of this. Then we had the end of a tough cycle is approaching, the full moon in Capricorn. Now this speaks to the release of control and trust the universe. That is how you get in tune, attune with this moon card. Find balance between your personal and private lives and also let go of fear. It's time to stop fearing the worst. A lot of that was also spoken to us by the ancestral runes. Okay, then we have the energy is gaining momentum with the waxing card. This says it's safe to let go and move on. We talked about the journey that you're going through. You're there. It's time to move forward to make that pivot. It's funny I use the word pivot like a crab. Move forward with as little resistance as possible. It does suggest that it's not time to start new projects, but I feel it does say it's time to release the emotional baggage. And once you've done all that, then you're going to move forward with these new projects. For those of you who need to apologize to someone, this card does represent that. It talks about, you know, the give and take that we mentioned earlier. And this card also asks you to meditate as well as do yoga. And through that, you'll see what lies ahead. Through that stillness, you will see what lies ahead. You'll release the emotional baggage, make any apologies, and move forward really happily into the sun as we discussed. Then we have the new moon in Capricorn, which speaks to your hard work paying off. Make a proper plan and execute it well. Now that you've released the baggage, you've said your apologies, done everything you need to do spiritually, you're trusting in yourself. So now you need to be disciplined to reach that goal. It's time to go ahead and put the goals on paper and start working hard towards them. Not really to actually implement yet, but put those goals on paper. And while you're doing this, do not be controlling and avoid anyone who's controlling you. Otherwise, you won't be able to manifest the new goals that you have for yourself. And I applaud you for making these changes, digging deep and doing the work. And thank you so much for being with me. Every time I get even one subscriber, it just means the world. Because I want to do this for you. It brings me great joy. It's a passion of mine. And I hope this does resonate with you today. Um, and probably all week this message will resonate with people all week. Thank you again. Peace.